Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you a place called Lavenderland located in Richmond, DC. I hope you enjoy this video and this walkthrough of this place. Okay, so I'm here at Richmond Lavender Farm today, checking this place out. So this place is $15.75 per ticket. There are a little bit of plants you can purchase here. So we'll take a look around. Hi. Hi. Okay. They're still taking pictures over there. Oh, you wanted to take a photo? Yeah. Okay. So we can post our pictures on yes. um, your eight media four. And hashtag us. Okay. Hashtag 8460 Lavender Land. So, how many types of lavender is um, in this farm? I just need to show you the colors. So oh, the different I see. Color, the different color. Okay. This one we call. It's an English lavender uh -huh. we call super blue. Oh. Yeah, so because it's dark purple. Mm. Uh -huh. And then at the middle one, yeah. the tall one, we call grosso. Uh -huh. It's a light, uh, it's a gray purple. It's a taller one. The blooming mm -hmm. time usually is uh, July, middle of July. Mm. But because of the heat, so it's, it's earlier. earlier. Yeah. Oh, I see. And the back. Still English lavender, but the color difference. So we have the super blue, the dark purple, the light purple we call Vincent blue, Melissa, and Munstead. Oh, and I see. The very back, the different one we call French. There's some people they call Spanish lavender. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so there's four different types here. Uh, yeah, but the English lavender different. It's just a different color. Different color and different type. Ah. They call they all English lavender. Oh, yeah, I see. But the middle one, they are not English lavender. Mm -mm. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. We're here at Lavender Land. So we're gonna walk down the aisle and look at the different types of lavender we explained about. Just zoom in on that. that there's mostly English lavender here and then there's a Spanish one at the very end. Okay, can you really tell the different colors? It's, I guess it's a slightly different shade of color. Overall, a pretty fun place to, to come just to smell the lavender and take a lot of photos but it is super hot today we are having a heat wave here in Vancouver I guess on the west coast and also a lot of forest fires Richmond, I guess. So we're almost done here with uh, the photos. 
a good hour and a half here. Started out in the back over there and worked our way up. Uh, did take lots of nice photos. So if you want to check this place out, it's family friendly. Uh, there is a family pricing of $42 for the whole family. The individual is $15.75. One of these, so if you tag them on Instagram, you get one of these for free. And this is a bouquet I, I purchased at this stall. This is $10. So I will be drying these. They are very fragrant. So here's my lavender haul. And we are done for the day. There is a little garden over there, kind of Asian themed. So this is, we're coming out the way we entered. 